Okay. So if you're cool, we're going to kind of jump right on in because I got a lot of questions for you, Kate. So, okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. If you don't know this amazing human being next to me, <laughs> I'm going to let Kate introduce herself because she's fabulous and you need to know her. Oh, I thank you. Well, I think that you're fabulous as well. So, hey, everybody. I am Kate Doster of katedoster.com, and it is my soul and soul's mission to put money in the hands of good people so they can do good with it and to eradicate this idea that nice people finish last in 2022 because the truth is people love to spend money. Like, I guarantee that if I asked, hey, have you bought anything on Amazon in the last two weeks? Your answer is yes. So why would you want people to buy from you? Somebody who actually cares about their audience, who is going to go above and beyond for them, who's not just going to treat them like some throwaway dollar sign. So that is what I do. We help primarily with sales, mindset, and psychology, and email marketing. These questions that I got were like hard and fast rules. And I know that we just talked about how there's no hard and fast rules. So I'm I'm just we setting myself up. Best practices, though. <laughs> I know. Okay, so how often should we be selling to our email list? Is there some kind of like a magical balance of like you, and I know that this is, I'm wording this intentionally poorly. I cannot sell to my list if I have not emailed them in X number of days, or if it's been X number of weeks since my last product sale. Is there something about like you shouldn't sell before period of time? I think that the two situations you brought up were very different in my head. If you have ghosted me for three months yeah. or until Black Friday rolls around, no, I don't think that you have the right to tell me about your paid product and send me like eight emails about it. Absolutely not. Because you've proven to me that you're untrustworthy. I don't even know who you are, right? So that situation is a little bit different. You can like maybe like casually sort of bring it up, but like that first email is about reestablishing the relationship and always proving what's in it for them. It's not like being like, oh, I'm so sorry. Life got in the way. No offense to anybody, but life's getting in the way for a lot of us. <laughs> the world is a very tricky place right now. Yeah. Nobody, like you're only sending that to make yourself feel better. So you're going to send them mm -hmm. a nice sort of, you know, value email that's that nice sort of quick, that dopamine hit. And at the end, you're going to be like, and if you're wondering how I got your email in the first place, treat people like people, then tell them how you got it in the first place, mm -hmm. right? Now, if it's like, how many times can you sell to people? If you're in business to business, I got to be honest, we got a lot of leeway with that, probably all of the time. And the thing is, and I have somebody that is in the budgeting space. And so what we do is we do casual selling everybody, right? So she'll have her actual like email message about like either a quick tip or like what's going on. Even sometimes she'll mention a blog post, but literally then it's like her signature, a PS message, whichever it is. And then at the bottom, it's like, do you need help with blank? Um, in her particular case, one of her highest selling products is a biweekly paycheck budgeting system. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, it can be PS or just literally at the bottom. Like, do you get paid biweekly and hate it that by that first Wednesday, you've got no money? Click here. This is going to help. And so we just put like little advertisements, if you will, at the bottom of the email. Again, always talking about what's going on in the person's life. We call it moments. We're going to talk more about moments live on the training on Monday or Tuesday. So sign up for that. And we'll talk about moments for your business. Okay. But right <laughs> there, it's a, it's a concept that nobody talks about. And I, I don't know why. And so then they'll go over and they'll click. So technically, yes, she makes money every time she emails. It's just a how focused is she on a product in mm -hmm. that particular email. And again, it's the budgeting space. But do you see Dave Ramsey eating the trash can? No. Is Susie Orman homeless? Absolutely not. So people in the budgeting niche do like to buy everyone, yep. right? Or we wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even known those two names if they did it, yeah. right? So that is what I would say to that. And again, I think that it also matters how you sell. If it's all mm -hmm. like me, 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 I made this great course. This is so fantastic. Or, you know, this is, you know, 25% off of this. Like if you're relying on the me, 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 or like the urgency yeah. and scarcity meaning like something's about to end or something's getting taken away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to hate that. But if you're just weaving it in to some other tip that you're talking about or some other, how do you feel like this? It's like, which is fine. This course, we talk about this, then that's fine. Thank you so much for coming today and bestowing your knowledge on us. And um, so people can find you at what is your website? 
Uh, you can go to katedoster.com and I do have a podcast. We're going on a bit of a summer slash spring break, but it is every other week. It's called Inbox Bestest and you can go there as well. Uh, if you're like, mm, I'm not really in the mood for a webinar, um, I'll make sure that Caroline drops the link. I do have a freebie that's two years worth of strategic email ideas. So I literally like January, week one, send this, week two, send this. If you're a rule breaker, you can like switch them up or you can like go look at May. I like to know if it's like, oh, it's mint julep day in May. So like you have to send this in May. So, and if you're like, but he like, what about, you know, January, February, they come back. So it's fine if you're watching this and it's like July, it's cool. The rest of the months come back. Just, just recycle it. You're good. Oh yeah. It's fantastic guys. If you're ever, if you're one of those people who's like, I, it is Friday at 3 PM. I have a half an hour before I can pick up the kids. I have no idea what to send. That's an awesome freebie for it. Uh, Kate, thank you so much for joining us and guys, we will see you hopefully at the webinar. You guys should all mm -hmm. sign up. It's going to be fantastic. Bye, Bye. everybody.